So guys, you want to actually start to selling some print on demand here into Etsy. I think like the very best way to start uh, creating here some print on demand here into Etsy is one, have an account here into Etsy and of course change that into a store, uh, become a seller. And number two is to find a dropshipper supplier of print on demanding so they can be helping you to connect your store into your actual products or even your products, the products you are creating into, into Etsy. So the very first way to get started here is to actually look out for a demand dropshipping supplier wants you to have your actual Etsy store. So if you go into Etsy.com, you go into the sign up section, now you are ready to actually start selling into Etsy. But if you clicked in here which says uh, become a seller, you want to just import your products and you can start to sell here into the Etsy. So in my case, it appears as job manager because I'm already in here. So um, as you can see here, uh, speaking about print on demand, this lines of t-shirts and a lot of tools here, uh, Etsy has a lot of competition. So what you want to do is to try to improve and to be featured and see why do you want, uh, why do people want to buy my products rather than all of them? So with that being said, what you can do to look out for some ideas. So if I go first of all here into Printful, I would go into the sign up. In my case, I'll already be creating an account using Google. So I just needed to key into sign in. I have here my actual, um, my actual account. So what I want to do, the only thing that I just need to do is to grant the access from uh, Printify to Printful into my actual store of Etsy. So. Uh, I'm gonna just wait a few seconds until I do have the actual access. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit back here. Here's my dashboard of Printful. And here, what you want to do is to look out for stores. So here into stores, look out for choose platform. And you want to look out for Etsy Marketplace. So you want to connect this into your Etsy store. So you need to click into connect to Etsy, hit into allow access. Of course, you want to have your Etsy account already added. So here, as you can see, this is my product. So how we can get started in here? As you can see, this is um, a t-shirt this slide that I created a few weeks before. Um, and this is uh, what we can do into Etsy. So I'm gonna just click uh, and try to take a look into how does my product went. You can always go into the file library if you wanted to and take a look into all your designs and all that. So speaking about designs, speaking about ideas, what I can show you is to is to look out for Canva. Now Canva has a lot of ideas that can help you to improve and to create a lot of stuff. Speaking about print on demand. For example, you can go into the create a design or even I can go here into um, custom size. I'm going to go here into the search for content in Canva and I want to look out for print on demand. And it's going to be appearing to a lot of ideas. So if I want to look out for t-shirts, I'm going to look out for t-shirt. Here I have all, a lot of elements that I can choose to start sell on my own. So uh, I can show suggest to you guys that if you want to sell something like this, if you want to just use this template, download out this template and use that to sell into Etsy, um, probably there's going to be a lot of issues. So this is just like a template you can use to sell here uh, into Etsy. So what you want to do is not by using exactly the same template, you want to customize a template. So speaking about sunset, you can change that for let's say just merge. And here you can edit the color or you, you can edit the element. So here I want to look out for an alien. For example, here you have some graphics and instead of having this one, I can choose this one and I can move this like that and they're actually good to go. But speaking about uh, images and elements, we do have a lot of elements so you can be creative and you can start selling your own stuff as you created this. So I'm gonna just, even I could just do select this one and I'm gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna go into text. You can go into the add some, um, I'm gonna get here into the subheading. Let's type UFO like that. And I think that I can missed like this one. I'm gonna go into this one, and I think, I think I'm gonna go into the effects, and I have a hollow. So I'm gonna just leave like that, like this. I'm gonna hit into share. When you download an image, it's really important to have a really great size and a transparent background. So hit into download, and uh, you can go back here into your files. You can go into the products templates, 
and you can create your very first product. So you can go into the create new and here you want to look out for let's say main clothing and look out for something unisex t-shirts. So for example I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I'm going to look out for something like this. So there's an eco-friendly and this is the colors. So you want to choose let's say this one. There we go. Shipping from Japan. Of course, you want to look out for the actual store that your store actually is near the dropshipper. Otherwise, you're going to be taking a lot of time and you're taking a lot of your money. So here in the drop your text line, you want to click in here, upload a new file. And here is the actual text line that we were created before. So I want to just uh, wait a second here until the recently used file has been successfully done. Click in here. And the imported file is now going to be added into my t-suit so this is the way that uh, this how um, works is that people are going to be seeing into all your products for example I'm going to just click into this design so people are going to look into this product and you want to import this into Etsy so when they watch your product here into Etsy and they go into the buy What's going to happen is that you're going to be receiving the money from Etsy, but these guys are going to be taking uh, the money from Etsy, of course, to create your design and to sell that into the actual shipment method that the customer chose. So this is why you want to have like any specific price and a specific price for the shipping cost and you want to consider of course the fees that Etsy is going to be taking for a sale and that Printful is going to be taking when they are creating your actual uh, product. So I'm going to go into the continue. I'm going to just go back here because I've already been created that. I'm going to go into the go back and as you can see here i'm going to go here into my products i'm actually going to be choosing the product i'm even going to just close into the x mark go into my file library and as you can see i'm going to add it to the store so if you go into the add to the store you can go into proceed to the markups you can choose all the options that you wanted to and here are my markups here i can choose the details here's going to how it's going to be looking into my store i'm going to hit into pricing and here's the product title so let's say that I want to change this title for, let's say, for example, star uh, number one. And with that being said, you want to go into the proceeds to the pricing. Once again, try to figure out what is the main price that you want to sell your store. You want to sell your products. And this is the actual money they're going to be receiving when we sell our items. And after that, you want to submit that to your store and your product should be appearing into Etsy. So if I go into my Etsy store, I'm going to go into my shop manager and here I want to look out for my listing and here into listing if you go into your draft content, here's going to be appearing your actual product. So the images are being added automatically, the title is going to be added automatically, you don't need to do absolutely anything, you just need to just make sure that everything has been added correctly and here into published. So with that being said guys, this is how you can get started with some print on demand products. Just really take in mind of uh, what money, what kind of money is going to be taken for you to be created, to create the product, to send the product and the fees of both platforms. So you want to level up a little bit more your product. So you really want to uh, mesmerize into your designs of your uh, actual products. So with that being said, guys, we'll be reaching to the very end of the video. Hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. I can't wait to see your designs speaking about print on demand so thank you once again for watching the video guys and i'll see you on the next time